Uh, hello everyone, this is Nick from R Tech Time, and right now I'd like to give you a really quick demo of the Safari 5.1 developer preview. Let me launch Safari now. The main addition to the preview is the reading list button right here. And uh, let's say for example we're browsing the New York Times. So I'll go to the New York Times right here. And as we browse the New York Times, I, I come across articles that I want to save for later, that I want to read later. I just hold down the shift key and click them, and they're added to the reading list. I can add as many as I want, and I can come back to the reading list anytime I want, just like that. I can also go through the reading list and choose between clearing all the clearing all the articles I have adding the current page I'm on and then viewing all the read and unread articles that I have saved aside from that I can come down here and very easily delete articles after I've read them and that is reading list now an interesting under the hood addition is added support for WebGL. Now, WebGL is a graphics based language uh, for the web that allows developers to add and animate graphics elements without the need for a proprietary plugin such as Adobe Flash Player. Uh, I have Develop enabled in Safari, and you can, uh, you can enable it as well by going to Preferences, Advanced, and then clicking show develop and menu bar and here the menu bar uh, you can see for those of you that have seen it before there are a few additions in Safari 5.1 uh, the one I'm highlighting is right here it says enable web GL now there are a few uh, sites on the web that are devoted to demonstrating the features of the web uh, which means just the web itself without proprietary plugins such as Adobe Flash Player. Uh, one of my favorites is run by Google. It's called Chrome Experiments. And while it's built for Google's Chrome web browser, any modern web browser with the latest and greatest technologies built into it can run these demos. I'm going to go to one of my favorite demos. It's called uh, it's called Cloud. Okay, so here we are at the Cloud experiment, and this is actually really neat. If I take my cursor and start moving it around right here, you can see as I move it towards the bottom of the window, I descend through the clouds. And when I move it towards the top of the window, I then ascend up into the clouds and then above, which is really neat. And this is all done through web technologies without any sort of plug-in, which is an, it's amazing. It's great. We can even examine the code right here that they used to create it. Well, some of the code at least. So that's WebGL. That concludes our very quick demo of Safari 5.1, the developer preview. And again, this has been Nick with R Tech Time. Please rate and subscribe if you want. Feel free to leave comments. Thank you.